Logan up. It's his birthday today, the 14th. And it's my mom's birthday too. Yeah, it's my mom's birthday and Hogan's birthday on the same day. Isn't that neat? I remember the day actually, uh, waiting for Wendy to give birth and she was, they were monitoring her pretty quick and she wouldn't dilate, you know, all those words, pregnancy words, dilating and this and that. And, you know, I was just there. And uh, it was the 13th of November and we thought to ourselves, Jesus, it'd be neat if he held on for a bit, you know, and he ended up doing that. He waited until the 14th, which was mom's birthday. It was a big gift for my mom. So they've kind of had a connection through that. Anyway, friends, today is a video that I did um, a while ago, quite a while ago. But and as a sawman and a, and a, and a logger and a guy who's on the saw all the time, uh, this video was for people who are running into difficulties with their they're filing perhaps, or they're carving, cutting on an angle. You know, it's the big nemesis for everybody. You go, why am I cutting on an angle? Well, there's a few different reasons why that can happen. Not that many, as a matter of fact, but there are a few, almost bordering on a couple. Like, I don't think I could find five reasons why, but there are a few, you know, couple, if that's the better word. Um, you're filing. You're filing. So what's going to fall into that is your raker height. People will say that. They always do raker height. Well, that's your filing. So that falls into filing. The bar. See, the, see the way I see this, friends, there's two. And that's why I hadn't saying any more than that. It's either the bar or your filing. Do you know what I mean? Like, what else can it be? Please shoot them. It's, tell me what you think. It can be other than your filing or the bar. If I think of something else, I'll interject it, but I don't know what else. I've experienced that it's either the bar or my filing. Good morning, friends. Okay, so we are going to grind some chain. Here's my grinder. I'll put a little bit this way so you can kind of see me a little better. Yeah, what's the matter with that? Let's do it. We got one side we're going to grind and one side we're going to hand file. Grind the stone. He's romancing the star! That doesn't look too bad. Not bad, not bad. Let's go with it. Let's see, as soon as I hit it, where does it end up? Oh yeah, good, good. All right. <laughs> I can't believe, this is so funny, but you know, YouTube is so educational, isn't it? How's the new subscribers doing? I seen you coming in there. I see to say this quite a bit uh, <clears throat> on the videos lately. Because there's quite a few new subscribers coming in. And I think it's great. I love that this place is growing. I, I truly do. I love it. That people get to see information that comes kind of from the horse's mouth. As far as... Because that's what I do on YouTube. When I need to learn about something. I don't just go to random videos. I go to... I go to the source. And like if I need to learn how to do something plumbing wise. I go to a plumber guy. I don't go to just average Joe. I go to the source. So I want to show you something. Speaking of the source. Let's look at this. How are you doing, babe? My, my, I'm good. My wife's out gardening again, friends. I think she's scrutinizing my work. Oh, good idea. Okay, so friends, you, you know what? You may. Oh, this is evil. This is absolutely. E oh, this is a good-looking grind. Did I get the top top plate? Yeah, I did. Oh yeah, I did. The, friends, <laughs> you know what? This is a nice freaking grind. Happens, friends. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, well, hi. Hi there. Talk to me about that. Oh, now I've got a side beak there. Okay. Little, little, not, not terrible, but there's a side beak. Let's see if we can find one. This is deadly. This thing is deadly. Just lovely. Just, just lovely tool. So anyways, I'm wrapping it because I'm doing all kinds of different things. I want to keep it all moving. 
And uh, that's what I'm doing, Walter. I'm wrapping your axe today and I'll probably shift the bugger. Filing. Why is my power saw cutting on an angle? Why is that happening to me? I'm cutting on a curve. Why is that doing that? Do you guys know why that's doing that? <sighs> I don't know, but it's sure bugging me. Of course I know what it is. Indeed I do. And I'm gonna tell you a couple things that it could be for you. So then you can go back out to your saw shop and you can take a look at your chain. First things to look at, friends, is your chain. Investigate your chain. Grab it, look, what's happening? Is that angle the same? Have I got the same gullet? Is one ripping a big chunk and one ripping a small chunk? Well, one's going through the wood faster than the other one, it's that simple. And if they're all doing that on one side, guess what's happening? You betcha. And here's another scenario. We talked about it at buck and stock. Say you're bucking wood. You're in the buck. You're going forward. It's good. It thinks cutting good. And you take for granted you're a little lazy. You think maybe there's no rock over there. So you go a little dip in the tip. A little tip dip. And crack. You feel it. You hit a piece of rock. And you're thinking, what is, why did I do that? I know better. But we do it anyways, because we just, we do. It's a strange human, hum, human phenomenon. I don't know why we do it, but we do. Okay, so now you've rocked your chain, but you didn't do it real bad. You just did a little bit, kick, 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 oh, and you pulled out. And you got five, six teeth on one side of the chain. Weird. Happens all the time. Don't tell me it doesn't. It does to me. All that would have took is for that rock, where you hit that rock, for that chain to be going, how can I... Oh, I'll show you. If you're wondering how that strange phenomenon happens, let me show you. You're darn tootin'. Here's the rock. Here's your chain. I, I can't see anything, friends. Here's your chain. Let's turn it around so it's cutting the right way. And there's the rock. And you're cutting. Well, look at here. Look at. Oh. Look at that. I missed with that. Oh, dear. But I hit with that. Look. Chip, miss, chip. Happens all the time, friends, okay? Now guess what's happening. You got one side of the chain that's cutting full tilt boogie and you got the other side of the chain that's struggling on three quarters. It's gonna pull to the sharp side, friends. It can't not. It's truly that simple, friends, okay? It is. So there's, it, it's either your filing, it's your chain, which is gonna be your filing or, or, or something that's going on there, okay? Or it's the bar is out of whack. It can't be too many things, friends. It can't be too many things. So we're gonna find out a little bit, friends. Over and out. Quick, hurry. Wendy's cutting my tree. Watch her, friends. She's after my shrubs. What are you doing, babe? Well, it was just laying underneath it, tucked right into the- Oh, that bucket. long guy. Yeah, so I pulled it out for you to oh, see Oh, sure. It. Absolutely. You see what she's talking about, friends? It's that, that must have been tucked under there, babe. It was. It was right in with uh, the goodies. Pull that sucker right out here. Let me see that. Look at this, friends. So there's one we missed. And look at how freaking long that sucker is. Yeah. Do you want me to take it back to this one? I do. Yeah. Yeah. And snip it tight to the, tight to the, to the collar. Yeah. The ratchet snipper. Nice job. Okay, good one, babe. Thanks for asking. Now, honey, why don't you grab that other guy coming over the creek? Or do you like that little guy coming over the creek there? He's not hurting nothing. Are you talking about that one there? Yeah. Do you want me to snip it right at the source? No. Find the next limb up. Come up about... Uh, to that? Yes. Right there. Yep, right there. Okay, thanks, babe. Here you go. She did it, friends. Look at this, isn't it? Oh, honey, this looks great. Is this what you were talking about? <laughs> oh, I love it. It's been there for like a week. You didn't even notice it. My wife says to me this morning, she says, so honey, did you see the little heart with the heart moss on the heart? I said, no. She said, mm. half ground chain. And it's sharp. And, and half hand file. Well, you ask yourself if you're not familiar with uh, ground chain. Then you'll be like, well, what's he talking about? What's, what can't be that? Oh, trust me, it can be. It can be. Does anybody remember that video? By chance, does anybody remember? Does anybody remember laughter? Remember that Led Zeppelin song? Sure.
sure either. Walter. Walter, you're a good man. I appreciate your patience. I appreciate everybody's patience with my life when it comes to buying uh, an ax. I appreciate that you understand that I have a life on the go and I'm not just sitting there making axes all day long. That, that I could not do. Uh, that I will not do. Um, and my axes go through a bit of a program. They don't get made and thrown out the door. They get made, they get tested, uh, they sit for a bit, they get tested again. Uh, it's not something I, I make and, and ship out the door. There's a little bit of a rigorous thing they go through. People have been hanging around here long enough, they know what, what, what the program is. Uh, I'm not sending stuff out that's that's fallen off the head when it gets to you. That's that's not my plan. Uh, anyways, uh, most of you know that, but it's wood and steel. So that's why I take the precautions. Anyway, uh, friends, we're, it's time to hand file the other side of this chain. Yeah. So this is the iron horse sends me a saw and says, thank you, Billy Ray, from my family, Cullen, Barb, and the iron horse, he says to me. And I'm like, uh, well, thank you, iron horse. And I'm thinking to myself, what for? I didn't do anything. And all he said to me was, fucking, don't even bother. You know damn well what you've done. <laughs> so I just, I get it. I, yeah, I understand. But still, Iron Horse, that's a lot of work for you to do and put a saw together and, and send that out to me. So thank you, pal. I appreciate it, buddy. I appreciate the hell out of it, actually. Okay, we're, we're going to be done here in a second. Friends filing up. So we got a, we got a, a hand file on one side and a ground chain on the other. Okay, friends. So here we are. <laughs> Look at my buddy, the, the iron horse. I love it. <laughs> I love this man. You just, come on, people. Oh, iron horse. He sends me this as a gift. I, I love the man. Okay, look at friends. Here's the deal, okay? So here is your chain. Are you having difficulties with your, your power saw cutting on an angle? Well, hey, Sonny. Oh, you got a shake? Yeah, it's been long Oh, I'm on that thing. Oh, the flans? You're getting skinny? Well, no. Oh, that looks sweet. I was hoping I could. I like that muffler. Well, good, because it's yours. Oh, deadly. <laughs> no way. So look at friends. There, so, so can you guys see this? I'm trying to get it to focus. It actually looks like it's hanging in there right now. Ah, I lost it. So, oh, look at this, son. Look at this grind right there. Oh, look at that. Deadly. Oh, that's it. These cameras that's are deadly. That's an aggressive Dude, grind right there. That's actually a wicked grind right there. Look at the corner. Can you get it over to this side more and check out the... Here, I can hold the bar. What do you mean? This here? This one? Yeah, that dude's right there. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, see that? Okay, so that's the perfect grind. To me, that's the perfect... Uh... I'm trying to hold it square there right in the corner okay so so here's the deal now here's a round file i've oh, got yeah you're freaking right on the corner you see no, what i'm saying no side or top so or so here's what this looks like from the side though friends see you got the gullet in there some guys get rid of their gullet i've been doing an experiment for the last few years i haven't touched my gullet i love this phone for this i don't have the eye in the sky right now I don't need it so there's our hand file on the other side friends so there it is and it's a dandy like it's a very nice Look at the, uh, I'll show you the gullet, just to flip the saw around here. And I'll show you my, my gullet action. It's it's a dandy, look, there it is. It's a great looking uh, hand file, right there. Happy birthday. Thank you, Iron. That's your saw. So that's for the Iron Horse and I. Yeah, give me a hug, Iron Horse. Yeah, there you go, I get a hug from Hogan, give you one too there. So that's your power saw, that's your birthday saw. Now. We haven't run it much. Yeah, you're spoiling me. Well, I gotta expect a new power saw on every occasion. Now. Well, no, but hey, you know what? It, 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 yeah, we wanted to do something crazy, for you. Yeah. 
So you use 20, he's no longer a, a... I followed, I watched him build the whole thing. Too yeah, the, I know. On the tube. It's pretty cool, eh? And your Instagram, you got some followers on your Instagram? Oh, yeah. Go check that out. I think you got a thousand, I think he's got a thousand Instagrammers now, friends, because some, of you. Line, you yeah. do, dude. Yeah, if you're on the island, you need your trees cut down, you know. Yeah. Contact information's on that Instagram account. You oh, know, is it now? Right, right there on the... Under the follow button, you contact information, give me a shout, you know. Oh, give him a I'll shout, you know. He's going to dock your trees out. He's a good man. So, of course he's a good man. Um, Ganges, it, it's totally up to you. Like, we, we made this saw. I can lift this. Huh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 Dog. Oh. All right. This looks good. This looks real good. You guys see what I done there? Sure. Okay. Now. Oh, you guys. Come on. Really? I'm gonna put you guys like literally right. I'm gonna put you guys right like, you know what I mean? So you can actually watch, watch what happens. Now it looks to me that, okay, so it's on the right side. So this should walk out. It should go out that way is what my theory is. So I'm bringing you in tight. Okay, let's see if we can.
cut. You, you can see what happened, right? Look at the log. I'm surprised it didn't bind. It's because it's not that big of a log, that's why. Look at this. Can, can you see what's happened? <laughs> it's dished. I will try my damnedest. It's hungry. It's pulling though. I'll try my damnedest to keep it straight. Let's do it again. Project we did the, the grind against the hand file and uh, the, the grind is pulling harder it's just you can feel it as soon as you put the saw in the wood it's pulling harder to the right I was fighting it to try and keep it on course if it wasn't pulling it wouldn't have put that big dish in the log like that it would have cut straight that's what it would have done you can feel it as soon as you put it in the wood so that's one reason you will cut on an angle one reason now um, to, to abolish the the fact of your teeth being the wrong size I just want us to look at the chain I got on here now I wonder why that's doing that the focus thing there This is definitely smaller, but what I tried to do was, was all around get this. Yeah, here we go, here, that's, here we go. Small little tooth, almost on the line, big tooth. Next tooth, getting down to the line. Next tooth, big. Next tooth, almost on the line. Next tooth, big, half. So they're all crazy is what it is. idea of, of the chain we're dealing with it's it's all haywire they're all different sizes like crazy 
this the same chain you just had grinded on? No, side? this is a different one completely. This, they're all like, this, this whole side is actually quite a bit smaller than this right side, you'll notice. But I just wanted to, we just did the rakers and I want Hogan, just take a sliver off and tell me how that saw feels in your hands. Mm -hmm. And if it's cutting straight, I'll be able to tell. Go for it. So friends, just to give you an idea, um, it, cutting on an angle doesn't really have anything to do with the length of your teeth being different on your on your power saw chain. It, it just doesn't, you're, you're gonna see it happen right in front of your eyes here. There's also another really good video on it uh, that I did a while back. It's in the playlist actually of uh, power saw sharpening or chainsaw sharpening. Uh, it's a great video, but, but this here just shows it again. But that cut straight as a board. Yeah. See? Here. So that was my, oh yeah, look friends, straight, boom. So that's good. Uh, you can feel it in a saw when you cut, right? Instantly when you go in, especially if you're taking up a good 14 or 16 inches of bar, you'll notice it in your hands. It'll start to pull one way. Yeah. No. You know but it's right cutting right. straight. It's not that's pulling. Straight, you can feel it's got bottom end to the saw. Like it's not, does, doesn't it? That's not, that's no stock 266. No, it's cutting deadly actually. So friends, I just wanted to, I know there's lots of new subscribers, uh, subscribers and that's kind of who I'm talking to right now. Lots of you have seen this. You know my thoughts on this. You know my theory on it. Um, friends, I've been on a power saw for coming up 25 years now and I've gone through the, well, it's actually painful when, when, when you're trying to cut uh, and, and you're not getting anything done and you're frustrated and it doesn't have to be frustrating friends this does not have to be a frustrating ordeal if you just know what to look for and know what to to do to get these things I mean shorter bars it can happen fast believe it or not you, you can because you got running full house a lot of people are running full house so that's gonna make a big difference uh, you got to be on you got to be bang on with your filing and flip your bars friends i didn't talk about bar maintenance because that's all in my as you see this took a half an hour to kind of get my point across here i hope um but friends i remember years ago going through this thinking why is this doing this and i would i'd get frustrated i'd have to get wood down so i would just go buy a brand new bar and, and throw a chain on it and then i realized that there was something wrong with my filing i'm talking 20 years ago friends when i first started falling with the longer bar I was like, this is, so I went through the pain. I call it pain. You come out the other side, a qualified guy though, you do come out the other side knowing what to look for. So now, uh, first thing I look at is my file and I keep my bars flipped every, you know, after a hard bucking, you know, you're out there going all day on a buck, uh, firewood doesn't matter. Flip the bar, blow the saw, out, flip the bar. And, and, you know, at least you'll wear evenly on the bar. So, anyways, friends, listen, thanks for watching this stuff. Uh, I don't talk about stuff that I don't know about on this channel. I just stick to what I do know about. So, uh, yeah, everybody have a great day. Thanks for coming here and being kind to one another in the comment section. Sure is appreciated. We'll talk soon. Over and out. So you can see what happened there. You don't notice it in small wood. I put a really extra good file on that saw, too on the hand file because I knew it would pull. They carve out to the side. My point being is they carve out to the side if something's sharper on one side.
hear that saw from his house. Listen to that. That's Who's that. That's from Wade's house. You guys could probably hear that. I don't know if he can or not. That's but funny. My, my friend that lives just up the street, like around the corner, sent me a video. You can hear it through the field. That's funny, bud. That's well, now that they took all that timber out of there. Yeah. So here's the deal with this saw. It's actually cuts great. Okay. Now, for the next test. 